Hi everyone! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussions about mechanics of deformable bodies. At ang ating magiging topic for today is all about a flange bolt coupling. Marahil ay nagtatanong kayo, no? ano ba itong flange bolt coupling at kailan ito madalas gamitin? Pag sinabi natin flange bolt coupling, these are commonly used connection between two shafts. Okay? And it is normally used when joining shafts by welding are not appropriate. Para maipakita natin ang isang magandang halimbawa ng application kung kailan at saan ginagamit ang flange bolt coupling, ay subaybayan ito, yun ninyo itong senaryo. Ipagpalagay natin na meron tayo isang hollow shaft that will be connected to a solid shaft. At nagkataon na itong diameter or inside diameter ng hollow shaft ay mas malaki kaysa sa outside diameter ng solid shaft. And when we attempt to connect them by welding, you will find that it would not be appropriate for them to be welded because the gap between the hollow shaft and the solid shaft is great enough that it may uh, be become unstable or the connection when welded would become weaker. And so instead of joining them by welding, we are applying what we call a flange bolt coupling. Sa mga katwid, kay bago natin ikabit yung solid shaft yung solid shaft, ay gumagamit tayo ng flange bolt coupling na kung saan on one end of the coupling is connected to a hollow shaft and they are welded here. Ba? And then the other end of the coupling is connected to a solid shaft and the solid shaft is welded also on this part. When they are connected now to the coupling, then the solid shaft can now transmit the torque from one end to the other end on the hollow shaft. And when we are talking of coupling, kinakailangan na itong coupling natin ay ma-design natin na hindi naman siya masisira agad okay, kundi makapag-provide tayo ng coupling that it will be just as strong as the weaker part of the compound shaft. Para naman hindi masyadong magastos or uh, tamang-tama lamang ang design, dapat yung number of bolts, the type of material, and the bolt circle where these bolts will be arranged are designed that it will just provide the torque capacity of whatever will be the weaker between the solid or the hollow. And we know that a detour capacity of the coupling will depend on some factors. Like, okay, imagine natin na this is the cross-section of the coupling where this one represents the ball circle na kung saan yung mga balls are evenly arranged. And this represents the, the balls. The balls are placed such that they are spaced okay, at the same distance from this, uh, from at the center of the shaft so that when the shaft is twisted okay, by a torque then each of the bolt in the coupling will be subjected to the same stress as they will have the same distance from the axis of the shaft and therefore the capacity of this uh, coupling will depend on the maximum shear load that each of the bolt can carry and that shear load will be dependent on the type of the material from which the bolts are made as well as the size of the bolt. So yung uh, shear load or the shearing capacity of the bolt will be dependent kung ano yung kanyang material at ano yung size na ginamit doon sa bolt. Okay, similarly, it will also be dependent on the radius of the bolt circle o kung saan Okay, inilatag yung ating mga balls. Ito nakikita natin nagbibling. Okay, the radius of that ball circle is a factor that may affect the strength or the torque capacity of this coupling. 
Okay, similarly, okay, the number of volts, kung gaano karami yung inilagay na volts in the volt circle, will also dictate the strength of the coupling. Therefore, the torque capacity of this coupling shall become equal to the product of okay, the maximum shear load that it's of the volt can carry multiplied by the radius of the volt circle where the volts are placed and the number of those volts that are placed in the circle. And therefore, it is equal to P times R times N. Nakusa itong T na tinutukoy natin na yung ngayong maximum torque capacity of the coupling. Then we also have the P, which is the maximum shear load that is bolt and carry. And this P will uh, be equal to the product of the area of the ball multiplied by the allowable shearing stress on the ball. It will be equal to pi d square over 4 multiplied by this allowable shearing stress. And N or R represents the radius of the ball circle and N is the number of those balls that are placed in the ball circle. There are instances wherein the torque that are transmitted by the coupling will be great that it will require more volts. E kapag higit na mas marami na ang volt na kailangan, sometimes it is advisable that the volts shall be arranged into concentric circles. So, ibig sabihin, kung masyado ng marami yung volt at Okay, uh, hindi na rin magiging matatag yung ating coupling dahil ang masisira naman ay yung place na pinaglalagyan ng bolt. Then, we are okay, trying to divide okay, the, the bolts into several bolt circles, in several concentric bolt circles. Okay, in two or three. Okay, and they are arranged so that okay, the number of bolts in the bolt circle are again spaced evenly. So imagine natin that we have here okay, another bolt circle represented by these bolts and on this bolt circle okay, nilagyan natin siya ng additional bolts. This may, okay, the additional bolts that are placed on another bolt circle will increase the torque capacity of the coupling. With the property okay, of this uh, coupling, then the torque capacity of the coupling shall become okay, equal to the following. It will be equal to the sum, actually the sum of the torque capacity of the bolts in each of the bolt circle. As such, this becomes equal to P1R1 N sub 1 plus P2R2 N sub 2. Na kung saan itong ating T represents the maximum torque capacity of the flange bolt coupling consisting of two concentric bolt circles. Yung ating P1, R1, and N sub 1 were already defined a while ago. Ang ating P sub 2 will be the shear load that each bolt in the second bolt circle can carry. But sometimes, okay, sometimes the stresses on the bolts on the inner bolt circle will not uh, reach the maximum capacity. And therefore, P sub 2 may only be okay, those that are exerted by the bolt based on its position okay, from the axis of the shaft. If it will be placed on a position that it will be subjected to a certain stress only, that the maximum, therefore that stress okay, to which it will be subjected will be used in the computation of P sub 2. Okay, in this uh, particular P sub 2, okay, this value can be taken as the product of the area multiplied by that stress. Stress, if it is, maxim if it is maximized, okay, therefore it is the maximum allowable. But sometimes if it is not reaching the maximum, it will only be okay, equal to the uh, stress that is uh, okay, to which the bolts are subjected. In a little while, you will understand how this can be okay, computed and analyzed. Okay, similarly, okay, we shall be talking here of our R representing the radius of the bolt circle, the inner bolt circle represented by this okay, if, uh, distance. And N will be equal to the number of bolts in 
that ball circle represented by the number of balls that are blinking here okay, that are placed in that inner ball circle okay sometimes sabi ka, binanggit ko nga kanina that it is possible that the balls in the inner ball circle may not be able to optimize its full capacity maaaring hindi niya magamit yung kanyang buong capacity although meron siyang allowable but because they are placed closer to the center of the shaft, they may be subjected to a stress lesser or lower than their maximum capacity. Hence, they will not be able to utilize their full capacity. As such, the magnitude of P sub 1, uh, P sub 2, may not be its fullest capacity and its relationship, but it would be related to the, uh, the capacity of those that are placed in the outer ball circle. And the relationship between P1 and P2 may be expressed using the following. Okay, The deform strain is to R sub 1, A being proportional. Let me explain this uh, K concept. If we have here okay, balls that are placed on the different ball circle, and which are aligned. Ano? Assuming that these are okay, aligned or placed on a, uh, the same line. Now, if this okay, coupling will be twisted due to the applied torque T, therefore, itong dalawang balls na ito will be twisted at the same magnitude or at the same angle of twist. And therefore, there will be a deformation that will be proportional to the radius of, or to the position from the center of the shaft. The one that is placed further will have a larger de shearing deformation, while this one which is placed closer will have smaller shearing deformation. And their shearing strain shall be proportional so that okay, the strain of the bolt is to the radius of the bolt circle is proportional to the strain of the bolt to the radius of the second bolt circle. But if the material will not exceed the elastic limit, then it will obey Suk's law, which states that within the proportional limits, the stress is directly proportional to the strain. Hence, if we are to substitute this strain by the, the ratio of stress to the modulus of rigidity, therefore this equation will be equivalent to the stress is to the product of G1 R1 is proportional to the stress of 2 over G2 R sub 2. But again, if the formula for stress will be substituted by the ratio of the shear load over the resisting area, therefore this equation will further be a change to P1 over A sub 1, G sub 1, R sub 1, is equal to P2 over A sub 2, G sub 2, R sub 2. This becomes now the relationship between P1 and P2 of those bolts that are placed on different bolt circle. Take note that these would are expressed in terms of their area, the property or the modulus of rigidity of their the material of the bolt and their position. Now, if the material used in the ball circle are the same, hence the two Gs, okay, G1 and G2 would be the same, and hence they would cancel each other. And if they cancel each other, therefore the relation will reduce to okay, P1 over A1 R1 will be equal to P2 over A2 R2. Kapag ang material ay naging pareho na, kapag ito halimbawa, yung materials in the outer ball circle are made of material the same as that of the material in the ball in the inner ball circle. Therefore, G sub 1 and G sub 2 will cancel and the relation between P1 and P2 will be will reduce to P1 over, R, P1 over A1 R1 is to P2 over A2 R2. Somehow, okay, in, aside from having the same material, the, mat, the balls are also of the same size. Kapag ang balls daw, daw ay yari na sa the same material and they have the same size, meaning they have the same diameter and the cross-sectional area will be the same. Therefore, in this relationship, okay, not only the G will cancel, 
A will also cancel each other. Hence, K the relation between P1 and P2 will further reduce to P1 is to R1 equal to P2 is to R2. Kaya sa pamamagitan itong relation na ito, makukuha natin yung value ng P2 or the load that would be acting on the ball in the inner ball circle considering the full cap, full, uh, uh, the maximum shear load of all those balls in the outer ball circle and their radius okay, and their positions from okay, the center of the ball represented by the radius of the ball circle. At para mas lalo nating maintindihan at maunawaan, itong konsepto ng flange ball coupling ay naghanda ako ng dalawang problem. Okay, ang isa ay application ng kung saan meron tayong balls arranged in a single ball circle at meron tayong problem na kung saan magagamit itong, na rin itong application ito in dealing with that problem. And so let us have this okay, sample problem number one. Okay, in the problem we have here, a flange ball coupling consisting of 10 steel 20 millimeter diameter balls that are spaced evenly around a ball circle 400 millimeter in diameter. Determine the torque capacity of the coupling if the allowable shearing stress in the ball is 40 mega pascal. So maybe we could uh, better understand this problem if we at least have an illustration of how the coupling will be uh, will uh, are is made up. Okay. So in here we have here a coupling where in the coupling we have a ball circle na kung saan ang radius okay, taken from the diameter of 400 is equal to 200 millimeter. This uh, there are ten balls that are placed evenly. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten balls that are placed evenly. The diameter of the ball is uh, twenty millimeter, and there are ten of them. Okay, and from here, okay, we are required to determine the maximum shearing stress, considering that each of the ball will have a maximum shearing stress of. K40 megapascal. Therefore, how do we solve for the maximum torque capacity? The maximum torque capacity of the coupling is equal to the product of P times R times N, where the value of P will be equal to the product of the area multiplied by the shearing allowable shearing stress. And this becomes equal to the stress multiplied by the area multiplied by R and that of the number. And if those values are substituted in this formula, then we shall be getting the value of the torque capacity of the coupling equal to 40 newton per square millimeter representing the allowable stress. Pi times 20 millimeter square over 4 represents the total area, area of each of the ball. This point 2 is already is the diameter expressed in terms of meter and you have the number of the balls. You'll notice here that if this will be simplified, okay, the millimeter square will cancel here. And what will remain are the units of Newton and millimeter okay, uh, representing the unit of the term. Simplifying and solving for okay, the problem, our value for the term capacity becomes equal to 25,132.74 Newton meter. And this okay, represents the term capacity of the set of things. The second problem that I have, something about okay, a, a coupling that is uh, subjected to a, a larger torque, larger torque, and made up of uh, a concentric circle. So I have here the problem. A flange bolt coupling consists of six of one half inch steel balls evenly, sp evenly spaced around a bolt circle 12 inches in diameter and four of three fourth inch aluminum balls and on a concentric ball circle eight inches in diameter. What torque can be applied without exceeding 9,000 pound per square inch in the steel or 6,000 pounds per square inch in the aluminum? In this problem, we are to use that modulus of rigidity of the steel equal to 12 times 10 to the 6 PSI and the modulus of rigidity of the aluminum of 4 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Again, it will help us 
if we try to at least uh, show the illustration of the problem okay, uh, that would represent okay, the problem. Here is our okay, coupling and on the coupling we have okay, a, a ball circle having a radius of 6 inches given from the 12 diameter. On this ball circle are placed 6 okay, uh, bolts that are placed evenly. Okay, placed evenly. And another ball circle having a radius of 4 inches and from there there are okay, 4 aluminum still aluminum balls okay, having a diameter of 3 fourths. So these balls on the outer ball circle actually is a steel. The diameter is 1 half inch and there are 6 of them. While those that are inside or the inner ball circle is an aluminum ball having a diameter of 3 4 inch and there are 4 balls on that circle. And so from here we are to solve for the maximum torque capacity. And we know that the maximum torque capacity of the coupling shall be the sum of the capacity of all those bolts in the outer and in the inner ball circle represented here by P1, R1, N sub 1 plus P2, R2, N sub 2. You will notice that R1, N1, R2, and N2 are all given in the problem. We just don't know P1 and P2. As I have said earlier, P1 will represent the maximum stress that its bolt in the first outer or on the outer bolt circle may be subjected. But because we don't we do have here different materials, we don't know whether it will be the steel or the aluminum that will fail first. So ang kinakailangan maunuan pala natin dito, ay kinakailangan maintindihan natin alin kaya do sa dalawang materials ang magpe-fail. Ang unang masusira, masisira, unang mabuputol. Ito kaya ang aluminum o ito kaya ang kay steel na nasa labas. So, kinakailangan ma-define natin siya sa mga magitan ng relationship that we have just discussed a while ago kay about the P1 and P2. And I have here kay the relationship and we solve for the relationship between P1 and P2. Sometimes it is about the stress in the steel and stress in the aluminum. And what's the formula? Our formula is P1 is to R1, R is to A1, R1 and sub 1 is proportional to P2, A2, R2 and sub 2. So that if this will be substituted, I have already here okay, uh, the formula where okay, the values are already substituted, I have P1. Okay, this one is for A1, G1, and uh, R1, sorry, G1 and R1. I have P2, A2, G2, and R sub 2. Okay, if you, are, you have your calculator, uh, you can enter the calculator and simplify, and you will be getting the relationship that KP1 is equal to 2 of P2. So, ito ngayon yung relationship na makikita natin kay base dun sa arrangement or property of the coupling that I will explain this one ano? if the outer outer bolt will be subjected to P1 therefore those that are placed on the inner bolt circle which is represented here by P2 will be subjected to one half of those K load on K the outer bolt but we don't know yet whether it will be the steel that would fail first or the aluminum that will fail. So, anong gagawin natin? Kinakailangan ma-identify natin. Okay, by assuming and assuming one of them will fail. So, in this particular case, we will assume that the steel will break first. When we say break first, it will reach the maximum stress first. Okay, so siya yung maririch niya, maririch niya agad yung maximum allowable stress. And considering that the maximum allowable stress of okay, the steel is uh, 9,000 PSI. If this 9,000 PSI will be substituted in the formula that P sub 1 is equal to stress multiplied by the area, Diba? Ito yung ating pinakita kanina, no? Stress which is the allowable and here is the area. Therefore, from here we shall be getting the maximum shearing load that the steel will have considering its strength at 9,000 PSI and it will be equal to 1767.146 pounds. 
So, ang ibig sabihin ito, ito yung maximum shear load when the steel can reach the maximum allowable stress of 9,000 PSI. And correspondingly, there will be a value of P2 which will be equal to 1 half. When this will be okay, solved for P2, it will be equal to P, P1 over 2. So that P2 sub will be equal to P1 over 2 and that is equal to 1767.146 divided by 2. This gives us 883.5729 pounds. <clears throat> this will now be the stress that would be acting on the aluminum but the question is will this will this load cause a stress more than that of the okay, allowable stress of 6000 we'll try to find out okay baka kasi mangyari that this stress this load will cause a stress more than the 6000 if that happens then we will be okay, interchanging the the situation it will be that okay, the aluminum will fail first Somehow we check in what will be the stress that will be caused by this 883 on the aluminum. So if we are to solve for the stress in the aluminum, it will be equal to 883.5729 divided by each area, <clears throat> which is equal to pi times 0.75 square over 4. This gives us a stress equal to 2000 PSI. Which, if we are to compare it with the allowable, which is 6,000, ibig sabihin, hindi niya <coughs> na-reach yung allowable. Ibig sabihin, hindi masisira yung aluminum. Kapag nasira na yung steel at P equal to 1,747, okay, ang P lamang ng aluminum is only 883, at hindi niya na-reach yung kanyang maximum allowable, ang kanyang stress is only 2,000 PSI. And therefore, anong conclusion meron tayo? Then we can say that steel really breaks first. And with this, okay, we have steel, P of the steel, which is 1767.146, and P of the aluminum, which is 883.5729. Not, okay, the one when this will be substituted with its allowable of 6,000. And so, if this will be substituted as well as all other values in the problem, therefore we can solve for the maximum torque capacity of the coupling that is equal to P1 R1 N sub 1 plus P2 R2 N sub 2, which is such that when that is substituted, I will have 1767.146 multiplied by 6 representing K the radius and 6 as the number. For the aluminum, I have 883.5729 representing the shear load for each uh, aluminum uh, multiplied by the radius of 4 and the number of 4. This gives us a total torque capacity of 77,754.42 inch pound. So, yan guys, ang uh, ating uh, solution sa problems about uh, flange bolt coupling and I hope that with the sample and the discussion that I have given you you are uh, you will be you understand and you will have that a uh, guess of solving your own some problems that you would find in the future guys sana ay patuloy niyo kung subaybayan sundan dito sa ating ginagawang discussions about mechanics of deformable bodies and if you have friends whom do you think will be needing this kind of discussion Okay, share it to them so that they will be notified of these uh, uploads. Once again, thank you very much for watching.